Connectivity is a core capability of OptoDesigner, which simplifies the task of routing web guides with advanced connectors and auto-routing functionality. For this, Synapses offers two different approaches, the advanced connector model and the auto-routing model. The first approach, using connectors, automates the design flow with elastic connectors that can connect two or more points in the mass layout. If required, it can consider constraints such as optical path length, phase relations, and bend curvatures. However, the auto router model proposes a completely different mode of operation. It provides a solution for iterative maze and grid-based routing. It is cost-based algorithm that allow the user to set their own design preference for bends, crossings, bias, 90 or 45 degree routing, single and multi-layer metal routing capability, obstacle avoidance using mass layers, and automatic crossing insertion. Auto routing is a class with a large number of functions. It can be located and configured by using the element menu. To facilitate this explanation, we will use a script template that can be found in the example menu. In the menu, we can see there are many functions available for all kinds of customizations. Code settings, multi-layer configurations, blocking layers, etc. In this example, the first step is to set up a grid size. The auto router method will use this value to find possible paths that overlap points within this grid. We recommend using a grid size that will allow for a correct bend spacing for optical routes a good first approach will be to choose a value that matches the minimum bend radius. This, of course, is to avoid undesired curves, which are added by the algorithm to get into the grid. Immediately after, we configure the cost for crossings and bends. A good practice could be to start with a low cost and slowly increase it to see how the algorithm adapts. By using these functions, we can also specify layers to avoid and the use of a specific building block for crossings bends and straight side bends. Once the configuration is done, this is a good moment to take a look into the router intent by visualizing them as arrows. This approach allows for a quick visualization of the design and makes it easier to see if our approach is correct. When all the steps are confirmed, we can proceed to calculate the routes. In this first design, we can see that the auto router functions added crossing elements. In addition, as some of our elements were not matching the grid, OptoDesigner adds additional bends to match. To improve our design, we will allow for the algorithm to include 45 degree bends. This configuration does not change all bends in the design, but only gives another degree of freedom for the algorithm to look for better and more direct routes. In the viewer, we can see the result of applying this functionality. The iterative maze algorithm has found a solution that avoids the use of web guide crossings and reduces optical paths by using non-Manhattan segments. To this point, we have shown how easy it is to understand and modify the different function values to look for the best optical routes for a single or a multiple cross-section design. If our design requires, we can create new grids for different cross-sections and technologies. OptoDesigner allows for the addition of multiple routing grids, all with different configurations, to generate not only optical, but also electrical connections.